Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, man, <clears throat> a lot of drama this weekend, personal shit going on, man. Uh, I had my son's video up there for a while, and uh, I appreciate you guys subbing him. Uh, he really needs support, I'm just trying to get the word out there for him, because I think he's above average as a singer. Um, I know you probably don't know this about me, but all my life, I've always like I grew up with classic rock. That's what I grew up with. That's I love classic rock. Zeppelin, The Doors, uh, Leonard Skinner. I love Southern classic rock. 38 Special, George Thorogood. I mean, on and on and on. Janis Joplin, Zeppelin's probably one of my favorite all-time bands of all time. And, but on the other hand, I always admire. I have a very uh, musical family. There's a lot of singers in my family. A lot of people can sing, and uh, uh, everyone asks me if I could sing. And like Pete, you should sing. We want to hear. We want to know where Junior gets it from. You don't want to hear me sing. They're like, oh, let's sing something. I hear music when she touches my balls. Okay, there I. You like that? You like that phrase? That's a nice uh, song. There's my uh, performance for you. No. Pete can sing. I mean, my whole family can sing. Everyone can sing a little bit. All kidding aside, but Pete's on a whole other level. He's very natural. He wasn't taught. He could just do it. And they're the singers that make it, the ones that are uh, like that. So, um, A lot of people subbed him, but I, I thought he would get a hell of a lot more subs than he did. He really didn't get that many. So I'm going to put his link one more time under this video. And I, I wish you guys would just sub him. Whether you, you know, it's not a gun channel, but you know, just to try to support him, and uh, as a favor to me, I appreciate it, he needs some numbers, because uh, we're trying to get him spidered out, people to recognize him, um, other than that, thank, I want to thank the people that did sub him, he didn't get a lot of subs, but some people subbed him, and I appreciate it, thank you, alright, this is a holster video, okay, and uh, these are the holsters I've been using. These are the holsters I've been using. Every day I'll change a holster and, and I'm going to tell you which one's the more comfortable, the most comfortable holster. Okay. Uh, I'm not real big on holster videos to me. They, they don't do nothing for me. But we've got some good stuff coming up. I'm waiting for stuff to come in the mail. As soon as the stuff comes in the mail, uh, I will uh, do a video on that stuff. You know, with the shotgun parts are coming in, we're going to do a full disassembly. On the, on, on the Mossberg 930, we're going to do that. That's going to be fun. Actually, a semi-auto shotgun is even easier to disassemble than a pump. There's a few less parts. few. Okay, holsters, holsters. Um, I've been carrying my gun in all of these. And I'll tell you, my biggest problem with carrying a gun is comfort. I can't stand when a gun pulls my pants down. It, I don't care how light the gun is. Once you load it with ammunition, the gun's fucking heavy. I don't care if it's a Glock. I don't care if it's a 1911. Yes, I will admit, if a, if a Glock is loaded and the 1911 is ho lo loaded, the Glock's much lighter. But it's still, the point is, it still pulls your fucking pants down. And if you're not in shape, if you're not a thin guy or an average guy, if you're a little fat... Your body shaped like a barrel, so you don't have any curves. So you ain't got no hips. So that curve on your hip that goes out, that holds your pants up and holds your gun in place. So if you're a thin guy, it probably don't matter what kind of gun you carry, it's gonna uh, you're gonna carry it comfortably. But when you're a little overweight and you're shaped like a fucking weeble wobble, it's hard to carry a gun. It is. It's a bitch. It's a bitch. Even my little Sig P238, even that. I got to keep fussing with it because I'm a fat asshole, okay? So, this is a beautiful holster. There's nothing wrong with the holsters. It's my body. So, no matter which one I use, it's, it's not comfortable. It's just not comfortable. Even this one, where is it? Outside the waistband, little one for my Sig P238, and uh, this one too. This is for a Glock 23 or a Glock... 27 you can use it for either one this the problem with this one is the clip is too low so when you put the when you put the gun in your pants you got this much of the holster sticking up then you got the gun sticking up and it's 
the gun's up up here and it's it carries too high this is a nice holster though if I could get this clip and move it up to here and have the clip go down inside the pants more it would be a comfortable holster but this is this sucks so when you're carrying a gun it's doing this shit it's doing all this crazy shit so I'll never use that one that was a waste of money this holster works really well but the, they're, these kind of holsters these big ones with the clips they're nice but they're hot in the summer but they do work pretty good they're pretty comfortable there's not a comfortable holster on this table for me so I'm not going to tell you any of them is comfortable I'm going to tell you which one's more comfortable than the other this is pretty comfortable um, this one from Whitehead Holsters is pretty comfortable pretty comfortable because it's really light and thin and it's, it's just as comfortable as that it's about the same this uh, one that Matt sent me from the Armory Guild is probably the most comfortable of all three of these style holsters. This is the crossbreed. I don't know what is what about it it is, but for, I think it's the clips. The clips are extra wide and holds the gun real secure. So out of all these holsters on here, this is the most comfortable. But it still ain't the ultimate comfortableness. I'm going to show you that at the end. I just discovered. This is a great holster. These suck because even though it's little and it holds a little P238, I hit doorknobs with it. I hit the edge of the wall with it. I'm banging my fucking gun all over the place. That's why I do not like outside the waistband holsters. Unless I'm carrying a, a fucking gun I don't care about, like a beater, like a Glock or something, that's fine. But I'm carrying a $700 380. I'm not using this. I was banging my holster, banging my gun on pieces. So I can't use that. Very frustrating. This is a good holster here. This is for a 1911. It's real small. It's little. It has two... The belt goes in this loop, it has two reinforcements. The belt goes in this loop, the belt goes in this loop, and it's and it pulls it to the shape of your body and holds the gun really, really well. This, I do like this. It's outside the waistband, but it holds the gun so close to your body, it works really well. But once again, I gotta pull my belt real tight so my pants don't fall down. So now my belt's real tight, now my gut's hanging over my fucking belt, and I can't even sit down and eat dinner. So that's, eh, I mean, it's better than nothing. Uh, this is a beautiful holster. This is outside the waistband. This is for a SIG 226. Friend, my friend sent me this. This is a beautiful holster. But once again, this would be good for the range to practice and all, but I can't see me uh, using it every day. It's, it's outside the waistband. That SIG 226 is a huge firearm, but this is great for at the range track practicing your draw unless you have a gay range or you're not allowed to do that like my range you're not allowed to do that so nice holster here I don't know who makes this I don't know less this is a real good holster the Don Humes never fail the Don Humes are good there goes my fucking cell phone hold on no, that's not important right now okay the Don Humes good because um, it's form fitted to the firearm and the clips high so when it goes in your pants it goes all the way down in there and it holds the gun very well and it take the gun there is easy to um, take out of your holster and it's easy to reholster because it has a reinforced mouth here but once again pulls my pants down pulls my pants down so what's what's the key well there's one route you could go uh, you know, you can look like, you know, you can wear suspenders. That would help. I mean, no one's going to see them. You put the suspenders under your shirt and get a nice set of suspenders. Put your shirt over the suspenders. And then when you carry your gun, it's going to feel comfortable. You could do that or you can get one of these. Fuck you, fine. Okay, I'm gonna, I have the gun on me right now. One of these bad boys. Yeah, and there goes the gun. Fuck out of here. See, when you try to be cool on camera, you can't do it. There you go. Okay, I was carrying my Glock 23. I was, you know, I was being an idiot. Just trying to take it off with the gun in there. There's no, there's not plus one. I don't carry plus one. I don't do it. I have a bad memory. You got a bad memory, you, sh you shouldn't carry condition one. That's my opinion. All right. I call this. The TFB, oh, that's my name for it, the Tactical Fat Boy. I call it the Tactical Fat Boy 
because if you're a fat boy, this these band these belly band holsters are great. It wraps around your belly, okay, and it don't pull your pants down because it wraps around all here. There's no weight hanging on your pants. And what's great about this is you can you can put almost any gun in there. I could put a Glock. Let me go get some guns. I forgot to bring them out. You could put a Glock 23 in there. It holds it really well. And I know what you're thinking. Does it squeeze your belly? No, it doesn't. Believe it or not. It doesn't feel like you got a girdle on. It don't squeeze your belly. It's not uncomfortable. This is very comfortable. Even though I have this on, I can sit down, I can eat dinner. And it, I don't have to unbutton my pants. I can sit down and eat dinner. And this does not dig into your gut. It don't scrunch into your gut when you sit down. It just expands with, with all your movement. It expands. And what's great about it is... I'm really not organized today. There you go. What do you think of that? What's great about it is a holster on each side. And let me get a couple different guns. Really cool about it is all these guns work in it. All of them. All these guns. All of them. See them? All these guns will work in that one holster. 1911, Springfield XD, Glock 27, Sig P238, Glock 23. They will all work. I've tried them all. They all fit in there nice and snug. They don't move and they carry very comfortably. That is cool. All these guns work in here. Okay? And plus more. The HK will work in here too. Now, also here you have a compartment for an extra magazine. If I'm carrying my Glock 27, I put a, an extra magazine in there. Oh, I'm having problems today. Okay. You can put an extra magazine in there. Another has another pouch here for something else. I mean, and it's comfortable. I have to say, nothing's 100% comfortable, but this is the most comfortable system for me that I've found. In all, in all the holsters I've been wearing through all the years of the guns. Some, a friend sent me this, and it's been sitting in a package for a long time. And I said, I don't think I'm a belly band guy. And I was in a pinch one day. I said, let me try that damn thing. And I tried it. I said, well, this, this ain't bad. It's not, I don't have to worry about my pants falling down. And then I went to try to grab my gun, see how it would feel. And it was right there. It was perfect. I, it's hard to reholster because... It's not, you know, it's not open, but if reholstering's an issue for you, you don't want this, but if, if reholstering ain't an issue for you, uh, it's not an issue for me. This is an extra large, and believe it or not, I know it's a little big for me, a little big. So I really have to get the Velcro, like for it to fit snug and secure, I have to get the Velcro and go all the way to about here, so there's this flap hanging over, but... It still works really, if you get, make sure you get the right size for you. And it still works good, even though it's not my size. I guess I'm a large. Wow, what do you think of that? I thought I'd be a 2X. So, I highly recommend a belly band holster. That's all. The Tactical Fat Boy, that's what I call it. But it's really called the GalcoLeather.com. It's called the... Uh, this is, uh, the size is 48.52. No wonder I ain't no 48 ways. Damn. Where the hell's the box? I got the box. Hold on. I'll tell you exactly what this one's called. This one is called, um, it's ambidextrous. That means there's holsters on both sides. The under wraps belly band. Under wraps belly band. That's that's it. That's what it's called. So Galco has them. Okay. So I just want to share that with you. That I really uh, find that Galco belly band holster extremely comfortable. That's all. Okay. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. I just you know I was just so thrilled with this holster. I wanted to share it with you. I'll talk to you soon. Believe me. We got lots of videos to do.